So in this War Thunder video, we're going to be talking about cheaters within War Thunder. So this video will not contain any cheating material, whether it comes to how to download it, how to, you know, see how people are cheating, because that is against Gaijin TOS, especially whenever it comes to content creation. And if you guys want to know something funny, you guys should go read that TOS and figure out all the rules that you probably break within War Thunder that you just don't get banned for because they're not enforced that often. But I do want to stay on the good side of Gaijin, and that is a, this is the type of video that would maybe make them want to you know do something especially if i was showing you how to cheat or you know what the cheats look like and you know maybe it would make people do it more but if you do like these types of videos it is very much appreciated that you support the channel by either liking and subbing to the video completely free and you know it does help a ton whenever it comes to discoverability now whenever it comes to this video the reason i'm making it is because I think in the next like one to two weeks after this video is released, there's one or two things that's either going to happen. We're either just going to get on this topic of War Thunder cheaters because of the Tarkov video that came out of the Wiggle that killed Tarkov, where basically a creator went and went into like the Tarkov lobbies with a cheater account where they started wiggling at people through walls and they would wiggle back so they knew that they were a cheater. Now, with that being said, you know, there's a lot of gaming communities which are combined, which are now going to take that video and try to put it into the game that they play, trying to prove that there's a ton of cheaters within the game to play right and uh, war thunder is one of them i've already started to see it especially whenever it comes to the reddit of people claiming that people are cheating you have youtube accounts right now which are breaking gaijin tos showing people who are cheating whenever it comes to the game and it's a weird position to be in because this video is either going to make some people mad or it's going to make some people you know very happy that there's not someone just you know taking the narrative of there's just a ton of cheaters within the game because i don't think there is and whenever you look at it at a like macro stance the game has been advancing it's been going up in player numbers you know we've had 100,000 players on steam we've had you know almost 200,000 whenever it comes to the whole client only at a single time and it's at a point now where there's definitely going to be more cheaters because of just the player numbers but the amount of times that i've seen cheaters within the game especially within the 10 years of playing war thunder it has been some of the uh rarest occurrences that i could probably say within the game now whenever it comes to that though the cheats for war thunder are really crap uh whenever it comes to everything you know you have some of the aim bots for like aircraft that you know auto lead for you uh you have some of the you know stuff like esp where you're able to see through walls and see through tree lines and you're able to see where enemy tanks are that's probably the most useful one within the game but the auto aim for tanks is probably the trashiest one that i've ever seen and there's one reason behind that one huge reason that is because of the way that war thunder damage models work you're having to shoot for ammo you're having to shoot for your crew and the one thing that these cheats cannot do is take over to like you know 2,000 vehicles within the game and make it you know shoot every time at a weak point of a tank it just may basically just goes center mass every time now i have had the liberty of you know dying to cheaters you know there has been people especially making videos or twitch streaming that you know like to stream snipe and uh some of them you know do it with you know not malicious intent or pretty fun to play against or they're able to you know get on your team and they're able to say hi and all that sort of stuff and it's really cool but there are some people that like to get a rise out of you uh you know sometimes it happens with just helicopters where they know or they watch the stream and they just like push you with a helicopter which is kind of annoying but you do have some people for example probably about like three months ago uh whenever twitch drops were happening uh well it was more than three months ago at this point but like uh whenever twitch shots are happening i had someone in a stern panzer that would try to q snipe me get into the game and then shoot me across the map with the stern panzer as soon as the game started up so yeah definitely a cheater but it was also someone who was trying to you know get rise out of me but basically i didn't let happen i just like kind of just you know went on my way with it but i've seen that cheat a ton so the next thing to talk about is easy anti-cheat or just anti-cheats in general because it's probably one of the other topics that people talk about as well if there's cheaters within your game it must mean the anti-cheat just sucks or we just need a better one that is more invasive into your computer and into your lives and maybe can be susceptible to data breaches just like riots vanguard was which was a wonderful thing uh, for games in general so easy anti-cheat what does it do it basically detects stuff on your computer that maybe could be a cheat for in the game you know sometimes it is had false positives and that's another topic we'll talk about in this video of you know sometimes it goes around and hits your uh, like you know keyboard lights or it hits your uh you know like your overclock software all that sort of stuff uh for being cheap and you know it's not funny enough that sort of stuff has been started to get ironed out whenever war thunder added it into the game but the other thing anti-cheats do is that they detect people through algorithms through statistics and through other ways now are they ever going to talk about this no because once they start talking about it and the public knows how anti-cheats work 
Well, guess what? The people who make cheat will now know vulnerabilities within them, which would be easy for them to exploit and get into their cheats themselves. Now, I don't know about you, but for me at least, whenever it comes to anti-cheat, something that has data breaches and it's able to give out my personal information like banking details or stuff like phone numbers and addresses, I personally don't want on my computer whenever it comes to that. And one of the biggest things that people have said that War Thunder needs to do is get something like Riot Vanguard, where it goes, you know, into your kernel drivers of your computer, where then, you know, it has access to your computer. I personally don't like that. I would never like want to play a game to where, you know, I'm having to maybe risk some of my data uh, for, for, you know, to just play the game. You know, that's probably one of the biggest issues with it, anti-cheats right now is that, yeah, you can, you can do a stream stuff to anti-cheats where you just make it to where it's so hard for people to cheat. But at the end of the day, well, cheating is majority of the time about money. And if, you know, people can go steal your bank details over just data breaching the Riot, you know, servers, why would they not just do that instead? You know, focus on the bigger, you know, profit, which is fucking sad to actually talk about. But at the same time, it's true. It is very true whenever it comes to that sort of stuff. Whenever money is involved, it is just, it is just insanely, insanely, like crazy to think about. That's what would like people would actually go do instead of just cheating. Instead of like making people go through at the rank, you know, sell an account. Just go steal people's bank details. That's like the easiest thing to do. So the last thing on this video I want to talk about is just the fact that there's going to be false positives whenever it comes to bans, whenever it comes to, you know, people who are cheating. And it's a sad thing not to talk about because War Thunder is a game that people spend thousands of hours on, it's been years on. And to lose all your progress to a false positive, I think would probably be one of the worst ways uh, or the worst like feelings to ever experience within War Thunder. I mean, would I be able to just put down the game whenever it comes to everything? I mean, yeah, but at the end of the day, especially if I knew I wasn't cheating and I knew you that like you know it's a false positive i'd be extremely mad that i lost my account you know it's going to be an uphill battle you know where you're able to go through the support team and try to get your account reinstated but at the end of the day i would rather have a cheater you know spend maybe like one or two more weeks on the game you know casually cheating or you know just kind of like you know not an aggressive cheater like you know the rage rage hackers but a dude just just using wall hacks every once in a while i'd rather have that dude play like one or two more weeks than someone who's been playing for like 10 years lose all of their account because of a false positive like there needs to be a huge amount of investment of time just making sure these people are actually cheaters because if you didn't know like i think it was like a couple of months maybe a year ago at this point the xbox uh people they actually got negative ge balance and whenever you have negative ge balance with war thunder you basically get banned and whenever that happened it was because of a bug whenever it came to the microsoft side but i'm assuming a bunch of people who don't keep up with like what war thunder is doing just figured out that they're banned and never will play the game again or never log in again or you know uh you know think that like war thunder is out to get them or something like that whenever to be honest it was never their fault that it ever happened and you know luckily enough it was fixed pretty quickly but the damage was already done whenever it came to stuff like that and the damage will already be done once you start accidentally banning people who are legit players or who you know maybe just had one sus moment of like you're just going through a bushes and that a shoot through it and accidentally kill somebody it's something that you have to have you know human intervention needs to happen with it you know training ai training bots to actually detect this sort of stuff needs to happen and at the end of the day you know cheating is going to happen in every game that you play you know whether it be a real life game with like uno people cheat all the time you know whether it be like you know uh, video games single player multiplayer people will cheat and that needs to be just something that has to happen the report function is always there you know definitely probably the biggest thing that you can do is if you find someone who is cheating you know make sure they are cheating don't be the cause of like you know mass reporting someone because you know they didn't even go check the server replay to see what their perspective was like but make sure that they are cheating you know and then you know go out the proper uh area of the game you know physically report them in the game and you know make Maybe just track them over time and see if they come in the band waves whenever it comes to War Thunder. And maybe if they don't, maybe they weren't cheating. Maybe they just have cheats which are better, which are not detected yet. But it's a thing that's just about time, you know? Like, I don't think there's ever going to be, like, a perfect solution to the game. And hopefully we're able to, uh, you know, combat the cheating problem at the same time. But at the same time, you know, make sure the game is fun and enjoyable for the mass amount of players who will play it. And I do want to comment on one last thing whenever it comes to the new thing that they're adding where it's like you're able to do a guest account. Do you realize this? This is not going to bring in more cheaters. Uh, whoever like started spewing that stuff is just wrong. You only get one of these accounts. You only get one of the guest accounts. So if you cheat on that guest account and get it banned, that's the only one that you ever had. And also, it is much easier to just go make a burner email, make a burner like phone number, make burner password, and get an actual account to go cheat on. Like, dude, guest account just makes the barrier of the entry to worth under a little bit.
bit easier to get into. So yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. You know, definitely leave your sort of stuff in the comments of what you think about this video because, you know, there's a lot of opinions on it. There's a lot of opinions that's going to be spewed throughout the coming months. And hopefully you guys are prepared for the good old uh, April Fool's event, which should be starting soon. So hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next War Thunder video.